Hey, what's up guys? Tony teaches tech here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an affiliate disclosure to your WordPress website using a plugin called Ad Inserter. When we're finished, it's going to look something like this. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get right into the tutorial. So right here on my screen, I have my admin dashboard for my WordPress website. It's a serial blog. Let's grab that plugin that I talked about first. So we can go to plugins and add new. Search for something called Ad inserter. We want this one by Igor Funa. So go ahead and install that now. And when that's finished, go ahead and activate it. Right up here at the top here, we have the add inserter plugin. Go ahead and click on settings. And you'll see here we can add up to 16 different insertions. Now, while a lot of people use this just for ads, we're going to use it for the affiliate disclosure like I talked about. So go ahead and type in the following. And actually, you don't have to type this in. I'll have a, a blog post on my website linked below. So you could just go ahead in there, copy and paste it right in here. Um, this basically is going to be a black box. With, and inside that box, we're going to have this text that says some links on this page are affiliate links, which means that if you choose to make a purchase, I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. I greatly appreciate your support. Now you can obviously change this as necessary, add your little style to it, but this is what I'm going to use for my website. So uh, just so we're organized here, let's go ahead and name this affiliate disclosure. And what we want to do is go down here and make sure that all these settings look okay. So yes, we want this to be applied to posts, but let's click on these uh, three lines, uh, what are the four lines here, and we want the insertion to happen before the content. Now, there's a lot of different options here, and you can actually see what all of these mean by looking at this visual representation. Basically, this is going to be appear before the first paragraph in your WordPress blog post, but after the featured image, if you have everything set up in that, that order. Um, you can play around with this as necessary, but if you want it to look like my website, go ahead and click on before content. Now the alignment is going to be uh, default, that's just fine. Let's click on this other setting here. Um, this, I, I don't even know how to describe this, it's like checkerboard four squares here. We want to check the box that says use exceptions for individual blog posts or pages to change insertion. And we want the default insertion to be disabled. This basically means that we have to manually check a box on our WordPress blog post in order to enable this affiliate disclosure. Otherwise, this would just show up on all of our blog posts and not all blog posts that we write are uh, contain the affiliate links. So um, that looks good for me. So. Let's go ahead, uh, actually there is no saving, everything just saves as you go through. So, oh I'm sorry, we have to click save settings 1 through 16, hidden down there. So now that that's saved, let's go to one of our blog posts. How about this baby shark serial blog post that I wrote not too long ago. And if we go down to the bottom of this page, um, let's see, there it is. So we have the add inserter. The, this box here and the as we talked about the affiliate disclosure is disabled by default so if you go and look at this blog post right now you'll see that there is no affiliate disclosure below the featured image but above the um, the actual content of the blog itself but now if we go back to the plugin and we check that little box that says enabled and we preview the changes you'll see that that affiliate disclosure appears right there. And actually, I just noticed that um, I was talking about the featured image being up top. I, I disabled that on my website. This is uh, just manually um, inserted in here. So if you do have a featured image it, up top, it'll appear after that, but before the content of your blog post. So um, like I said, you can play around with the settings in the actual plugin itself to figure out where you want that to appear if you want it at the top, like I recommend for most people, um, just because it's like the most honest way to do it. But you can also put it at the bottom of your blog post, et cetera, et cetera. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions about the Add Inserter plugin, adding an affiliate disclosure to your website, let me know in the comments below. And if you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really, really liked it, subscribe to my channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.